The Andhra Pradesh State Biodiversity Board has taken up an initiative to produce a short film documentary series to showcase the rich biodiversity of the state christened as a window to Andhra Pradesh biodiversity. This documentary is the second one in the series titled Wetlands. This is a part of various measures initiated by the board to create awareness and capacity building of the general public, the Biodiversity Management Committee members, school and college students, academicians, researchers and nature lovers who are the stakeholders. Wetlands, a natural wonderland for plants, animals and of course water. What are wetlands? Wetlands are areas where the land is covered with water for a few months or throughout the year. From an oasis to arterial rivers, from coastal marshes to your local ponds. 40% of the world's wildlife depends on the wetlands. These wetlands play a major role in rendering ecosystem services like protecting us from flooding, drought and also purify the water. Wetlands are considered as the most biodiverse ecosystems on the planet. They are rich repositories of biodiversity and they play a very important role in ecological balance, economic and social points of view. Water-saturated wetland soils, known as hydric soils, are home to many unique bacteria and plants. Hydric soils are permanently or seasonally saturated by water, resulting in anaerobic conditions. Wetlands are among the most productive ecosystems in the world, comparable to rainforests and coral reefs. An immense variety of species microbes, plants, insects, amphibians, reptiles, birds, fish and mammals can be part of a wetland ecosystem. The water in a wetland can either be fresh water, brackish water or salt water each having a diverse biodiversity of its own. In the deep freshwater ecosystem, we have a diverse aquatic and bird life that are dependent on these wetlands. Fishes like Blox gizzard chad, common mullet, milkfish and the needlefish are commonly found here. Water birds in the area include spot-billed pelicans and many others. This ecosystem is a haven for these magnificent birds which build nests and breed here. They forage in groups Drive the fish.
fish schools to the shallow waters before scooping them out. feed their chicks by regurgitation. Among the larger birds in these waters are egrets, painted stock, ducks, cormorants, black-headed ibis and Eurasian spoonbill. In the shallow waters we have the flamingos, which are one of the most beautiful migratory birds in India. Thousands of these large birds migrate from far off places. They feed on the benthic animals or the animals living on the bottom of these water bodies, like the mollusks, crustaceans, and blue green algae. Brackish waters attract large congregations of the wader birds like plover and sandpipers. These are small birds found along the mudflats, wading in order to forage for food. Here, the little ring plover has its own unique way to forage. Wetlands also provide various goods and services to humans called as ecosystem services which are vital for survival of humans. A large number of people depend on fishing and aquaculture for a living. Most commercial fish breed and raise their young in coastal marshes and estuaries. In addition, shrimp production is now through aquaculture. There 
are threats to the wetland ecosystems by using chemicals and other hazardous materials in aquaculture leading to contamination of wetland ecosystems and degradation. Natural farming practices and sustainable farming practices have to be adopted. Biodiversity conservation is very important and it is equal to saving our own existence. If coastal areas are adversely affected due to soil erosion or climate change, the biodiversity will also be eroded and humanity might have to face irreparable losses. We have to recycle and reuse the plastic and other waste materials and save our ecosystems and life forms associated with them. Therefore, saving our wetlands is the need of the hour and every one of us have to do something to conserve it by leading a sustainable lifestyle.